it's uh, Tuesday night. It's the uh, 14th of May 2024 and we're going to go on the Blue Bellant. So we're starting here at Bathpool Park and we're going to walk into the uh, woods and hopefully find you some bluebells. So here we go. Let's uh, get into the woods and uh, see what we can uh, find up here. A little bit muddy, so we'll have to probably wipe his shoes when we uh, come out of it. Hopefully uh, we will see quite a few bluebells. We are a bit later this year, so uh, hopefully they haven't uh, all died off. Let's uh, head deeper into the woodland. We have got uh, a few here, but uh, it does look like they are dying off a little bit. Like I say, you normally do this walk early May, but we were away. So we're now doing it now for you. A few more bluebells there. Let's uh, carry on up the uh, bank here and see if we can find any more. Plenty of rubbish about here and cans, so looks like somebody's been drinking here and uh, thrown all the uh, cans down there. There's some more here, but again, like, uh, like I say, they've died off a lot, so I'm a little bit disappointed, really. Daryl's uh, coming up here with his drone. So here he is, and his drone should be uh, following him. So there we go, Daryl's just passed me with his uh, self-flying drone there. Let's uh, carry on a bit further up here and see if we can see any more. We've got a few bluebells there around the uh, tree. <coughs> All the foliage now on the <coughs> trees is uh, quite thick and very, very fresh, very green. It does look uh, really, really nice. <coughs> a few more bluebells there. Let's, uh, let's just zoom into them for you. You can hear the birds chirping. They, uh, they are enjoying themselves. And the trees do look absolutely amazing here. And we're now just coming up to the cricket club. So we're going to have a look at the cricket ground here as we uh, go by. As I say, we are just that little bit too late really for your bluebells. So I really do apologise for that. And that's all down to us being in Florida. But that was uh, well worth going. Have a look there now, there's the uh, cricket ground of uh, Clough Hall. There's plenty of roots from trees around here, so you do have to uh, watch your footage. Look how uh, steep the uh, woods go down there, leading towards Boathorse Road. I wouldn't like to think uh, I was going to slip down there. Beautiful fresh green leaves here on, uh, on this tree. Let's carry on. And we have got there a beautiful bluebell. Check that out. So normally just in front of us, just down here, we do get quite a lot of bluebells. So I don't know whether we will Tonight we'll have a look 
as we uh, head along here. Like I say, the uh, foliage now on the trees is very, very dense. There's been a big tree that's uh, fell down here. As you can see, they've had to uh, cut it up. It's fell from there. And you've got all the branches and the trunk and the remains there and I don't know whether you can see but I can see just in front of me there we have got quite a few bluebells but again they are really really dying off so I'm going to carry on on this uh, bluebell hunt as I say very sludgy because we did have a lot of rain last night it uh, really really did come down we've got a few more bluebells there plenty of uh, branches here as I say where they've uh, had to cut the uh, trees down and there's some more bluebells for you but uh, sadly they are all uh, going back and dying off so uh, keep heading on see what we can uh, see down here there's a lot of trees that have actually come down there's another big trunk there look and there is quite a few bluebells mixed in the weeds so it is a really lovely time of the year early May when all the leaves are out and looking very very fresh Got another big trunk of a tree down there. I've got another patch there where we uh, have had quite a few bluebells again. But uh, they're not so blue tonight. I think I can uh, hear Daryl's drone in front of me. He's coming back now with his drone. There is a section where I'm walking now, there's been a lot of bluebells here, Licky. Take a look at that, check that out. And here, we've got another big, big tree that's uh, collapsed and fell down here, here in the woods. Looks as if that has been down for quite some time, really. say in this particular part here the tree foliage is very very thick there's not a lot of sunlight actually uh, coming through here but like I say there has been uh, a lot of bluebells here so I should imagine about a week ago it would have been uh, quite awesome to uh, come here and photograph them start heading back now towards Bathpool Park we're right at the side of the uh, cricket club here there's all down bank now here for a, a while so we'll keep on going it's quite slippy because as I say earlier on it's quite muddy but uh, I am enjoying the walk through here tonight and uh, I hope you are enjoying it as well somebody just walking through there with the dog again that dog's off the lead so uh, it'd be very awkward to uh, bring Nick here they should really keep them leashed and there's that uh, big tree that again has fell and if you just look at the side of it there we have had a lot of bluebells there let's just zoom in for you so you can uh, take a look there this now we're heading towards Bathpool Park so as we uh, go
go down here and along and over the ridge we uh, hopefully will start seeing Bath Pool where we actually uh, started from tonight. Here's that section where the tree had fell and they've been cutting a lot of the branches and the uh, trunk up. Look how thick that trunk is. I think it's actually been cut down, not fell down, because it doesn't look broken, it looks like it's been cut. Now, what that actually means on this tree, whether that's uh, somebody who's been dealing with the trees or whether it's a local gang who've put that on. If anybody can tell me, drop me a comment and let me know what that means on this particular tree. So as I say, the sun is struggling to uh, get through all these trees tonight. They are, if I look up, very, very thick. Right by the uh, cricket ground again now. And then we'll uh, start dropping into uh, Bathpool Park here. And again, look how steep and uh, sheer it is here if you uh, slip down there. So here there's two paths. There's the top path there and there's the bottom path there which will uh, take you to Boathorse Road. But if you did go down there it is very, very sheer and I would imagine very, very slippy. So we'll uh, head down this particular path, which looks a bit uh, easier going on the foot. And as I say, I think uh, Daryl is uh, quite a way in uh, front of me. In fact, I can see him down, down there, which I think is the way we actually come up. And there's another one of them blue signs on the uh, tree again there so like I say I'm not sure what that means whether that means they can cut them down or whether it's been some local gang that's been uh, writing on them and around this tree here we've got a few more bluebells that do look like they're still alive so I am just uh, heading down here now and like I say it is quite sheer and uh, quite damp and quite slippy so I am taking me time as I uh, come down here so I don't slide on the mud and then the opening just at the bottom here I can see Daryl and he's been uh, flying his drone we've got more dying off bluebells there so as you can see the woods here about a week ago if we'd have been able to uh, have a look then for you it would have been quite thick we have got uh, videos on the channel from last year and the previous year where, where we did walk the uh, bluebells round about early May so if you want to check them out you can see how nice they actually were when they were in full flower So it's very, very quiet and peaceful in here. I've only seen probably three or four different uh, people as I've been walking through here. A lady with a dog and another lady with a dog as I was uh, coming up and the dog did uh, jump up me. So we're coming into this uh, little bit more of a opening here. It is a bit lighter here because there's a bit more light coming through the trees and we've got some branches been cut down again there and here we've uh, got some more dying off bluebells it's in front of me there and he is uh, launching his drone 
and uh, getting some pictures with his self-flying cameraman and that's backing off there as you can probably see and he uh, is waving as it comes back into him and lands in his hand absolute amazing piece of kit so we're virtually back into Bath Pool here now we've only had a short walk tonight but I have really really enjoyed it it's been uh, a lovely night to have a walk around got an aircraft going over there making quite a bit of noise <coughs> and there's Daryl coming out of the uh, opening with his drone and he's uh, heading to Bath Bull Park again So uh, there we go, there's that quick walk into the woodland area. I do apologise that the bluebells weren't as uh, nice as they normally are. But that's just like I say, unfortunately, because we are that little bit later this year uh, filming them. So there you go, there's tonight's film. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like, share and uh, please subscribe to the uh, channel it would be uh, much appreciated and we'll see you again soon on the uh, next video